This is a parley between the state government, organized private sector and representatives of residents of Taraba, another opportunity to rob mines on the way forward. The welfare of civil servants was brought to the fore by a former labor leader who commended the state government for what he says is soccer brought to the workers, seeing them on a path to success. When we came, we struggled for just 30,000 implementation. For the past eight years, it could not be implemented in Taraba State. But when you came in, the first day we approached you, you said we should go and relax. And without us going up to sit on the table with you, you've directed for the implementation. And that is why the civil servants are enjoying today. The state government has introduced some reforms into the civil service, including biometrics data capturing through which ghost workers and 867 civil servants collecting double salaries were identified. In addition to the cooperation, the this press conference was convened after the interactive the session. The representative of Governor Kefas reveals plans for the renovation of the over 30-year-old state secretariat. This state secretariat has been in existence since the creation of this state. That is to say, since 1993 that the state secretariat was built, there was no renovation until today, now that His Excellency Dr. Abukif has came on board. The state government seized the opportunity to assure the civil servant of speedy implementation of the new minimum wage. His Excellency said whatever the federal government has approved, he is going to implement. He repeated same during the media chat. And you know, the, his, his, his landmark is a talk and do governor. So I don't have to say anything along that line. The Taraba state government reaffirmed its commitment to fulfilling the promise of free school bags, books, shoes, and uniforms to complement its free education policies when the next academic year begins in September.